Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosell. Today I want to do another video about fonts in Hebrew because if you're doing graphic design work in uh, Israel then it's very useful to have more than the typical one or two fonts that you get on your computer in order to uh, make your typography look a lot nicer. I've done videos before about how to get cursive fonts uh, for Hebrew and you can then install those on your computer or you can upload them to Canva which is what I demonstrated on and I'm going to do the same process today but instead of using the font website I showed, I'm using uh, Google Fonts, which is actually a really, really useful uh, resource. These fonts are basically free and you can download as many as you want and uh, really enhance your creative work. So the way to find Hebrew fonts on Google Fonts is you can see that there is a language filter up here on the top. And uh, as you'd expect, you can drop down into Hebrew. So Hebrew is one of the languages you can filter on. You can also, by default, it's left to all languages, and they also have fonts in Arabic, Chinese, Hong Kong, Simplified, Traditional, Greek, Japanese, Korean, and other languages. So they really have a good selection. Naturally, however, when we filter on Hebrew, we're going to reduce the number of fonts in the collection because uh, they need to be in Hebrew for those. So we're starting out with 1,531 fonts on Google Fonts, which is quite a good selection. And I'm going to then now just apply the Hebrew filter and as you can see, we've dropped down to 45 fonts uh, from the 1,531. So at the time I'm recording this, there are 45 Hebrew fonts and Google fonts, but obviously that number is going to change over time. Um, and as you can see, we have some uh, really nice ones here. Both uh, These are block fonts, and they'll preview them in uh, some kind of a Hebrew uh, dummy text, just as you would in, just as they have them in English for the regular fonts. So you can see it's an interesting mix of some uh, jazzier fonts in uh, block characters. We have this one as well, which would be really nice for kind of uh, designing more interesting uh, fonts. And I'm just trying to see if we have any in cursive. Looks like there is one here in a cursive font. And this one's also particularly interesting. So actually really great collection here of 41 different fonts. And there's even one in uh, Katav Rashi, in uh, Rashi script. Uh, which is not by default installed. So how to use uh, one of these on your computer. So I'm going to take one that looks appealing to me, which is the uh, Arimo font. And I'm going to just show how to install this in Canva. So what I want to do is click on Download Family. And that'll download a zip file, as you can see, arimo.zip. Uh, Next thing you want to do is to unzip this. And it's generally easier, I find, to do this in batches. What I'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop called Google Fonts, and I'm going to do a few at a time. So I'm going to extract that there. Now when we go into the Google Fonts folder, we have the .ttf style, which stands for True Type Font. Um, and you can install these on your operating system, and you can also install these on any web program. So to install this font in Canva, I've just opened up a Google uh, YouTube thumbnail template here and I'm just going to add some text so that we get the font uh, drop down here and as you can see in the bottom left we have a button called upload a font and this is where you can upload your custom fonts into Canva. Now you do need a Canva Pro subscription in order to access this feature uh, so it's my desktop's automatically pulled up Google Fonts and I can see here I have the two uh, TTF files so I'm going to upload them one, one by one and you're going to need to say yes to this uh, confirmation box just stating that you have the permission to use the files. And uh, that's basically it. Now I have uploaded this font, Arimo Regular, and it's going to appear um, in my uploaded font section in Canva. So if I change into Hebrew on my computer, the Hebrew keyboard, I can type uh, my name and that's using uh, this font. And we can see that it's going to be different than, let's say I copy and paste this, if I use one of the default fonts that are installed in Canva, such as the Aleph font, or indeed the X Hofish font, or the Dania. These are uh, cursive fonts. So that's how you can find Hebrew fonts in Google Fonts. S filter on Hebrew, and then you can uh, install these on your desktop. Um, word processing programs, such as OpenOffice or Microsoft Word, or you can upload them into Canva, Google Docs, wherever else you want, and you're doing graphic design work.